Hello everyone and welcome back to Push Square, your number one destination for all things PlayStation. My name is Aaron and today we are discussing the long-awaited and highly anticipated Witcher 3 Next Gen update. Joining me to discuss our return to the continent, I have with me today Felix from Nintendo Life. Thank you wow. so much for joining me, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I am super stoked for this update. I finished The Witcher here this year, actually. I put, wow. I think, 140 hours because first I started on the Switch, then I moved to the Xbox, and now with this update, I'm actually considering playing a third time on the PlayStation. <laughs> that That is wild because I have not played this game really like a serious amount since it came out because that was my one and only time and I've dipped into it every now and again and then when I heard that the next gen patch was coming I just thought I'll just leave it and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll eventually I'll wait for the next gen one. I'm a bit of a, a, a tech snob now when it comes yeah. to like the 30 FPS we kind of mentioned this before I think but the 30 FPS on that game with the motion blur dialed up to like 100. <laughs> I, I struggle with it now so was that your first time playing it? So I played it on the Switch and then I heard there was a next gen coming. Then I uh -huh. got a Series X, an Xbox, and to me uh, that was like a next gen going from the Switch to the Xbox. Oh, yeah. And the mm. Xbox Series X could actually do already 60 FPS. It had a performance and a 4K mode, which was really nice. nice. Mm -hmm. I had a friend who also had a PlayStation and wanted to play but it was only 30 FPS on the PlayStation 5, mm. so he decided not to. I really wanted to wait for the next gen, but they just kept delaying it, and mm. it was supposed to come out at the start of this year, now it's the end, so I just thought, I'll just play it, I can always come back to it, it's such a good game. It, there's so many different paths you can take, it's a mm. game you can definitely play multiple times. I, I was really surprised that they were actually squeezing it in at the last few weeks of the year, because they did <laughs> say it's coming in 2022, and the entire time I just kept thinking, eh, is it though? Is it really coming is in 20? <laughs> you keep saying that, but you're not showing yeah, anything, I'm not, not even a single <laughs> screenshot. <laughs> yeah, so we finally got like a big... A uh, half hour live stream just detailing all of the different details. I'm going to very quickly list through some of the big headliner uh, features that we're getting. We're getting 4K textures and models, ray tracing features, improved gameplay, a 60 FPS mode, cloud saves and cross progression, photo mode, improved foliage, customizable HUD and subtitles, a new Chinese dub and subtitles, performance <laughs> and quality modes on consoles, and new content inspired by the Netflix show, and then just a little bit added one there, real-time cutscenes as we found out through Twitter posts as well. There's a lot of different <laughs> things in that they didn't actually cover everything. They said there was a lot of like small little tweaks that were coming to the game to just generally yeah, a few improve. surprises. Overall, looking at this stuff as some, like, how did this rate for you in terms of, like, you were really looking forward to this update, weren't yeah. you? So the thing was, I wasn't able to watch it live. Mm -hmm. I had a, a family gathering and I was really bummed because I really wanted to see the stream. I watched uh -huh. it later. But I remember when I first saw it, I just saw the trailer first before I got home. And I thought, oh, this looks fairly similar. Mm -hmm. But it's because I think I remember the game looking better. Because when I see mm -hmm. side by side, it's astonishing how much of a difference it makes. And yeah. I will say, after watching the showcase, they highlighted a lot of stuff that I didn't know was coming, like a new camera option. I really yes. like playing with the character a bit to the side. I do mm. it in, I'm, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption and that's how, that's the camera control I prefer. So it's really mm. nice that we actually get that option because sometimes I will actually hold down the focus button in The Witcher so I could go around with that camera. Yeah. I'm just super stoked. It's such a small detail, but it's going to make the game significantly different. Yeah, the, the close camera thing was actually one of the things I got really excited about. Yeah. Because it feels far more cinematic and immersive. Exactly. In comparison, because the camera in The Witcher, particularly when you're in combat, goes really, really wide. Yeah. And I, I wasn't like the biggest fan of that. I didn't hate it, but this is a marked improvement for me. So like, do you think this has been, from what we've heard so far, what we've seen so far, do you think this seems like it'll be worth the wait? Oh, definitely. And it's free. We can't yeah. forget that. So we mm. can't... I feel if anyone is complaining, I mean, it's their fault that they have been waiting. It's free. <laughs> We're getting this for free if you already have the game. Mm -hmm. And they're adding a lot of stuff that I... I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm impressed with all the stuff they're adding. 
yeah. some new mm-hmm. fixes. For example, when you have to use the runes, you don't have to go into this menu. You can just do it on the go. We also yeah, have the, a photo mm-hmm. mode, which I'm really stoked about. Mm-hmm. I was taking so many screenshots in the game, and with the photo mode, I'm going to go absolutely crazy mm-hmm. in my new, new playthrough. And... They say they're gonna use the PlayStation 5 DualSense, which yes, that's the reason why I'm considering playing it on PlayStation. Just because how significant is it gonna feel? I love the PlayStation 5 controller, mm-hmm. so yeah, if it's significant, I will definitely get it there. I think that could be a major. It depends how much. The, a lot of games do include DualSense features, but then it's whether it's like how far they go with it. Because some yeah. places will be like, yeah, we have DualSense haptics. And it's more of just a rumble, and then you get the games that really go for it, and it's really detailed. So for me, I'll need to see how it feels, but either way, it's definitely going to be an improvement, especially for a game that has, like, your casting spells and your fighting yeah. with your sword. It could be it could be pretty major in that department. One thing that I'm really excited for, because I just got a Steam Deck, is the cross progression. So this does oh, yeah. seem to be coming uh, available to on PC as well. As in, like, being able to play on PC with your save and bringing it to PlayStation. And that's really exciting to me because I, I've always liked the idea of playing The Witcher portably. But yeah. I didn't like... It was the resolution stuff that put me off of the <laughs> Nintendo version of it. Yeah. But the... um being able to play that there but then also on my PlayStation because it's just too big a game to, like, go... I'm going to play this twice simultaneously you know on these two different platforms so i'm really excited for that but yeah like i think what showcases how much this like how big an update this is for me is that it's not just a simple like yeah we added 60 fps we've got some 4k textures or whatever Uh, it's just like your hallmark next gen things it's like all the little little things that they're putting into it you know these little details or these new gameplay fixes like you're saying the quick cast is just like a nice little addition that they've made to it so it's all of these smaller things that just bring it together a lot more for me and shows that there's a lot of love and passion going into this from cd project red also i was i was quite happy with the next gen version of cyberpunk when that came out so i think this is probably better uh, than, than the cyberpunk one for me from the sounds of it so it will be available for free if you've got the game already from december 14th so we don't have that long to wait at all is this going to be your your christmas game oh yeah i'm gonna spend all christmas just playing <laughs> yep. this i have so many other games i should be playing but the witcher has a soft spot and i've been meaning to get back to it and mm-hmm. I, I've just been waiting for this next gen. It mm. depends how substantial it actually feels. I'll mm. I'll s- probably start a new game and then mm. I'll see if something clicks or if it's just pretty much it's gonna be pretty much the same. But the new camera angle, finally don't have to watch Roach's tail just fluff around. <laughs> now it's just zoomed in, it's gonna be lovely. I'm gonna be I'm waiting for the constant quipping of the winds howling. Just all the time, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to get uh, playing Looks through this like again. Rain. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to making this my big cozy Christmas game. Uh, but let us know down in the comments below if you're planning to try this out when it launches on December 14th. If you like this video, consider leaving a like, and if you'd like to see more content like it, maybe subscribe to the channel. But thank you, Felix, for joining me today. It's been long overdue having yeah. a little collaboration like this, so hopefully we'll have more lined up before in the I future. Go, yeah, before go I go, it. we forgot to mention, so there's a, a person who's been working on the game, and he also said that they've been tweaking fall damage. Oh, wow. Which, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how you fall down and just die from falling down, like, two stairs? Yeah. That's, that's like a big thing. That's just me in real life. <laughs> that's why I live in a ground floor flat. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but thank you everyone for watching and we'll catch you back here next time on Push Square. Yes. Bye bye. Damn, you're ugly.